Hello everyone. Hello. Hope we're all doing well. I don't know why I'm coming in with like a big old sigh. <laughs> I really didn't mean to, but I'll take it. Anyway, hope we are all doing well, having a good day, etc. Etc. <sighs> I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. I, so you know, I got dinner, of course. Practice some French conjugations, of course. You know, general work stuff in between. Um, but anyway. One thing I did do. Sorry, I just got an email. Story Pirates updates. It's so long. Holy cow, it's so long. Well, I could read that email later. Anyway, who cares? Not you all, that's for sure. Um. Anyway, I did spend. I almost. I like lost track of time because I did watch a bunch of. Um, Architects Digest videos of people's houses. Oh boy, I wish I had fun, disposable income to have a big, beautiful house. Oh, what a luxury. What a beautiful luxury. I watched um, Dakota Johnson's Beautiful House. I watched Nikolai Co Waldo, I think is how you say his name. The Game of Thrones guy. Um... Also, beautiful house. He, you know, you can tell he's like European minimalist. Cause like there's some shit that I'm like, put something on the walls here, guy. What's going on? But overall, still beautiful house. Um, ooh yeah, Friday goal or sub goal for a new house. Into it. Um, and then I also watched Troy Sivan. I don't know this person or their work. But everything about his house, and honestly, even kind of his look, I'm like, yes, I want all of this. I want to live like this. I want, it was like a really nice touch. Because there's some houses that's like, mm, this feels a little trendy. And it felt very cool and modern, a lot of sun, but it felt timeless. And just a lot of comfy chairs, too. Anyway, that's how I would like to live. Maybe one day. Oh, I also watched their newest one, which was with someone I had never heard of. Some kind of beauty influencer. I don't remember their name. Uh, a lovely Hawaiian home, though. Sweet dogs. Hello. Yes, we will be playing Dark Souls 2 starting next week. It should be updated in the schedule. I feel like no one ever checks that schedule. And, like, I get it. But also, why am I writing the damn thing? I guess also sometimes it isn't accurate, so I can't blame y'all. But it should be updated. I also hope everyone has a lovely weekend. Hello, Jatem. Um, yeah, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having fun. Ugh, it's still kind of toasty in my office. Not a fan. Well, I don't update the actual schedule feature. I just update in my little about section because I don't think anyone actually checks the schedule feature. And also, it's just kind of a pain in the ass. It's not that easy to use. Bought one a while back. Did you love it? Oh, Game and Watch Super Mario Bros. I am not that into Game and Watch. So probably I don't have that kind of nostalgia that I think a lot of other people have for old games. You know. Granted, I'm playing an anti Drew game, so I guess I have some of the nostalgia, but... Anyway, sorry, just, uh, put on lipstick so I can do my, do my fancy little pat down. Um, yeah. I can actually play the Game & Watch games in M-A-M-E now? What's M-A-M-E? Anyway, 
Hello. Wow, I feel very close to the camera. Um, I guess I didn't, I, you know, figure why wait. Let's just get started. I also bought, went to the grocery store to get toothpaste and then got some snap peas, which are delicious. Ooh, yeah, that's so good. I forgot to eat them earlier. Lipstick, mostly even. I like it always this weird shit to the corners. Snack peas. And try not to crunch too much into the mic. But check this one out. Some ASMR for ya. Good evening, duvet enthusiast. Nice and formal, I like it. Good evening. Anyway, I'm just gonna eat some more snap peas while people join. It's weird, I am. Um, I'm playing this game. I'm just making my lipstick worse now. Through the OBS. Um, so I'm like looking at myself in a mirror, basically. Not the healthiest thing, but I can pop over to the game too. It's gonna be a little frozen because I've clicked off of it, but I can go boop. Chapter five to give your tux on nice. I'm gonna do one more snap pee and then we're gonna get started. People are still coming. I did finish RE8. Yes, I did. If you do exclamation point VOD, I'll give you a link to the archive. There are four peas in this one. I love a healthy snack. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Shall we get started? Boop. Okay. I gotta click into the game. Nope. Here we go. Danger. Load. Okay. So, last time we played, a little recap for you. Nancy Drew was in Paris because one of the investors in this, uh, for this famous American designer in Paris, um, there's been like weird behaviors from this designer. So the investor is like, you gotta go check it out. Eh oui. Um, I had a mommy in the air fryer. Whoa, that sounds good. Sorry, I had to take a little break. Anyway, so it is our job as Nancy Drew to go in and speak to people. We've ha we've basically just been running a bunch of errands. We're trying to figure out why this artist is always wearing a mask, why they are behaving strangely, and it seems like they're maybe getting threatened. So, we should probably check that out. Hey, okay. Remy, how's it going? Um, Hangman. Let's play Hangman. Okay. Ooh. You know the rules, right? Robo Steven, thank you for subscribing. Um, sure do. Yep, I sure do. Great. Okay, Hangman. Okay. I'll think of a six-letter word, and you try to guess what it is. Ready? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, ready. Ready. Let's do E. E. Nope. I love a. that the Bingo. background audio goes away. <laughs> um, I'm going to maybe turn this down a little bit. Oh, yeah, nice. I have a YouTube video open about why did Mr. Wick it was recommended to me, and I was like, you. I think I know why, but I'll click See? it. I. Okay, let's get the Y in here. Why? What the? F o? O. Oh. Bingo. Harp. No, I was going to say harpoon. The Dweeb Jar. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. New subs. Saloon. Wow. Go, 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 G, Tim Nailers. Let's see if S. it's saloon. Bingo. L. Bingo! Right you are. Wow. N. You won. Everyone's play saying lagoon. Again? No, thank no you. Thanks. Oh, Vegeta! Thank you for play, the gift sub to any mouse, and also for all the work you've done as a mod. Okay. See you later. See you later. Ciao bella. Ciao bella. That's Italiano. Okay, so she's making cookies for us. Whatever. Okay. Yes. A lot of flooded basements. Oh, my peas. One fell out of the casing. Hold on, where'd my peas go? Oh, they're there. Oops. 
Let's unplug my headphones. I'm a mess. All right. Plug her back in. Oh, you'll hear that noise. Hold on. I'm going to fix this. Sorry about that. This headphone can be a little funny, or this, uh, oh shit. That's totally fine, okay. This mic can be a little funny. Oh, dang. Let's quit. I'm trying to quit. Exit. Just, egg, no, just get out of here. We did one hangman game. It's okay. It's okay, everyone. It's okay. See? It's fine. It's fine. Just these headphones can be a little funny where like sometimes if parts get unplugged it just creates this like terrible buzzing noise and I don't know why. So we won't have that saloon game behind us but I don't think it'll matter. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, let's try recalling that one dude. Because the one guy we keep calling who won't answer. Hugo. Last time we called, didn't answer. You have reached the Paris studio of Hugo Bunchley. Oh, uh, that's this long ass thing. Designer. As you might expect, I'm also, very busy right now creating my spring sorry, collection. Sorry, it's about which I'm very too excited. Out. Regretfully, I'm far too busy to answer the phone, and as we all know, it's to answer the phone. I'm busy. Really www.hugobutley.mod and use the link provided to contact me via email. Hello, librarian in time, GMR. My luscious fall line is in the stores, ready to be bought, worn, and enjoyed. Goodbye, then. All right. Zippy calling card. Hmm. Okay. Get out of here. I want... Hmm, where shall we live? Or where shall we go? Let's just go to What's-Her-Face. Okay, I do think we need to get more items. Anyone who's not American is just offensively from their country they're from. That's what this game does. Okay. Let's see what you have to What's say. What's up? I'll let hey, you get, get back, back to work. work. So okay. we have to get all of our items. I think we still need one more. Get me stuff. Yeah, see, we still need the items for her inspiration. Okay, gotta go around the horn, I guess. Because this is what we have so far. So it's primary colors. Green is not a primary color, but that's fine. Conversation for another day. Orange isn't really either. We'll say it's red. Um, let's see. So, point neuf. Point neuf. Can we go to the Eiffel Tower? No. It's got a star on it. Okay. What was this? Have I never looked at this? To the memory of the French fighters. Okay. I feel like we can open this eventually. This feels like an openable. Okay, what do you got, Bonjour, lady? Mademoiselle. Maybe the, the bear? Mm. I like to sell the stuff I have in Let's this see. bag. Would you be interested? If this stuff is good, perhaps. You let me see? Sure. For this, I give you 20 euros. On Never mind. Thought, never mind. Let's see what else we can get. Me. What do you like? Nothing. Guess Goodbye. I'm just not in a buying mood. Next time I have what you want. Bye. Sounds good. Au revoir. Au revoir. Okay. So the blue bear, an option. Let's see if you Bonjour, want to buy my stuff. You are back. Love it. Would you by any chance like to buy the stuff I have I in this bag? I might do. I take a look in the bag. Hmm. 
I give you 30. It's all yours. It's all yours. Merci. HBO so, Max does rule. I love hacks. What do you wish to buy? I love Mayor of East Town. In addition to all of their like movies and shit, they always have. What's the try price this of one. this lava lamp? That lamp is very special. The truck which rises and falls inside it, unlike any I have ever seen. Watching it will entertain you for hours. And I am selling it for hours. only 20 euro. 10 euro sounds about right to me. My price is 20 euro. You may take or Fine, leave. I'll take it. I'll take it. It is yours. What is this See thing? anything else you like? What is this? Actually, oh. I don't see anything else. Goodbye. Come back soon. Perhaps I will have new things. <laughs> okay. Au revoir. Yeah, I don't Au know why these French mademoiselle. shops are just like, here's junk we can sell to tourists. It's not even like French related, you know what I mean? But I guess that's the fun. Oh, what are these? Hmm. Freaky. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What do you wish to buy? Well, let's see. I'll buy the wagon. This Doesn't miniature feel right, wagon but... is kind of cute. A little dirt, a colorful plant, and voila, you have a very interesting mobile Four euros. Planter. It is yours for eight euro. Four euros is more my Honestly, speed. eight seems kind of reasonable. What else tickles the fancy? Nothing! I really don't want to buy anything right now. Maybe I don't want to... Maybe you will want something next time. Should I paint? Maybe. Au revoir. Maybe. Au revoir. Maybe. Also, if me eating is, like, really bothering people, I can stop. Okay, let's see if these are satisfied. Will satisfy. I forget her name. Claudette. Min Minette. Minette. That sounds about right. Minette. Minui. I don't know. Here we go. Minette. Okay. More stuff. How delightfully rude. Show me. I love the it. lava lamp is perfect. Oh, great. How I knew it. Absolutely positively rude. The lava lamp, the rings, the canister, the cone. They're perfect. I adore them all. I'll take care of this other junk you bought. Now go away. I have work to do. Okay. What now? Heather, where is JJ? I told you she's not answering her phone. Heather, I don't want excuses. I want JJ now. Gigi. Nancy, I'm it right seems here. that Minette has finally thought up all the designs she needs Say for her no spring more. collection. But instead of putting them down on paper, like a normal designer, <laughs> she insists on creating them on a live model. Hence her sudden, desperate need for JJ. Say no more. I'll go get her. Heather, I don't want excuses. JJ I want now. JJ we have the periods go only after the, the second J. All right, let's go get JJ. What chore will we have to do to get her to come to the office, you think? <sighs> Paris looks complicated. Yeah. Well, I, f I assume it's like Boston. I feel like Paris, because this is all go to like the Arc de Triomphe. Whereas I feel like with Boston, everything's like a zigzag. I feel like old cities are always a hey, little Rumi, like, it's hard it to get around. Hey, Rumi. She needs you in the studio. Minette needs you at her studio. In fact, she's been screaming for you, literally. Too bad. I'm not going anywhere until these mint chocolate chip cookies are finished. Mm. You have to. Minette is freaking out. Too bad. Silly me. I just said that, didn't I? Look, go to the studio. I'll finish those for you, okay? I'll do a great job, I promise. Well, I'll head over there. But I'm gonna call you before I set one foot inside Minette's studio. And Why if are these cookies done, or so if important? You try to lie, what is... Okay. I never lie. <laughs> I never true. lie. Ask anyone. Famously well, untrue. Right. Actually, Everything I guess she is pretty honest. Is right but... here. Recipe, baking sheet, mixing bowl, Measuring cups and spoons, ingredients, and if you mess up and want to start over, just okay. turn around and dump it down the sink. One problem, though. The recipe calls for fresh mint. Only I had to toss the sprig I had because it was moldy. So you're going to have to go out and find some more. Okay. Which could be hard because there's some kind of mint shortage thing I'm going I'm breathing on. in the paper. Oh, and I'm also out of brown sugar. I think there's a way to substitute for it using molasses somehow, but that's your problem now. 
Remember, okay. I'm going to call you when I get to Minette's. If those cookies aren't done, I'm going to go shopping instead. And Minette's going to go bonkers. Ta-ta! Why, uh, why is this blackmail mint thing happening? This blackmail cookie deal. Okay. Well, here's some molasses. What are books doing in here? What in the world is JJ doing with books on electrical engineering? I don't know. This seems cool. I hope she's having fun with her hobby. Is that also in here? Yes. Okay. Um... How do I know how to do anything? Can I read the directions? Okay. Can I re do anything? Hmm. Is there some kind of cooking book that we can read? Do you think we'll have to purchase it? Because... How do we know the recipe? Did she say? Let's see what this says. Okay... Uh... Some mint... Okay, so I gotta Can't go out check and get shit. Check that off yet. Still need to do that. Check. Check. Okay, I need mint. Been there, done that. Check. Been there, okay. done that. Oops. I still can't believe that Been last there, photo wasn't. That's fin That's like, finished. Scary, or I guess this isn't That's one of the finished. scary Nancy Drew games, but I feel like the last photo should have been like it's a gun. I don't think Nancy would ever ever gun, but um, okay, I guess we have to go out and get mint, etc. Can you summon Remy? I'm gonna try going... I, is it... I think this is where the cafe is. I feel like I could probably get mint there. I bet I can order like an ice cream and there'll be like a mint on the side or something. It's my guess. Okay, is that the scene Mademoiselle we get Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? Mademoiselle Do you think Drew. I can order something? Order anything you like. But no, no that this problem. Time, you I'm rich. No problem. Oh, I need to take this picture. A cat. Okay. Um, let's try the ice cream and see I if that like comes come with mint. Oui, mademoiselle. Maybe this went to the Eiffel Tower. I don't think we can Ça go to the Eiffel Tower, euros. unfortunately. That will be five euros. <sighs> Okay. Bye bye, hard earned cash. Okay. Ice cream down, was a sprig of mint on top. So I refreshing. I need to take I love how melty so it looks in this photo. Like, clearly, they're like, okay, we have to take a picture of this, but they just let it, like, fully melt. I think I'll save the mint for later. As you wish. Mm. <laughs> He's gonna think she's such a weird. I'm gonna put this mint in my pocket. Mm. That was wonderful. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Can I ask the chef how to substitute molasses? So, what else do you wish from me? See you later. A talking to you. Au revoir, mademoiselle. <sighs> Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the main town and see if there's a cooking book I can buy, maybe? Hmm. I know, cooking with le restaurant leftovers is very weird. Bonjour. But hey! I have many new things, oh. you see? Wow, you sure do. You are I sure want that to find hat. something you like. Is this is mint? Is this mint? Oui, that is mint. The growers of mint because of them all over Paris. All over France. I think one no euro is right. A fair price. I have very good mint. Not more. I want that hook. I sell to you for fifty euros. I think one euro is a fair price. No one has mint but me. You want mint? You must pay fifty, 50 euros. Fifty euros. I'll take it. Oh, Voila. what the heck? What else do you like? I want that fishing hook. This feels is like this something just that'll be useful. String? That is very good string. Very strong. Very good. Two level. euros. You can buy for only six euros. I think it's only worth two euros. Lady always. You not only get string, you get a spool too. Fine. The price is six euros. I think I'm just I'll buying junk it. at this point. Voila. <laughs> but what it's else still fine. Like? I do want that hat, but I Guess won't buy I'm it. Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you want to look again, I just know. come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Ooh, I feel like we're gonna need that swimming see, outfit. You have many new Light bulb. What is to choose from. <gasps> Cooking. What intrigues you? Um, Any chance I can okay, let's paint more first. Money. Be my guest. We can buy all these goods. Oh wow, this is a complicated one. Okay. Boom. 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 
Oh. Okay. 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 Tricky. I'm really just kind of going with the color, the first color I see once it's like, I think it's all done. No real rhyme or reason to the colors I choose. Boop, boop. Okay. Are there any movies that feel like summer to you? Earlier we were talking about Call Me By Your Name. Which really just is like, seems like a wonderful way to spend a summer. And I just want to capture that summer feeling. I'm eager for it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh, no, beans. This is very much a I'm playing this after school on my parents' computer kind of game. You are not wrong there. Aquamarine. 500 days of summer. <laughs> yeah, that's not my first choice. I know a lot of people like it. That's okay, too. That, that movie's fascinating because there's this weird after the fact of like, yeah, we knew that the main guy was the bad guy the whole time. And I'm like, you didn't fucking know. Like, everybody was on his side and then people wised up to it. And now you're acting like, yeah, 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 that was intentional. We all know it wasn't. You know, who are you fooling? Okay, I didn't do this pot at all. Um, missed one green one. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Based and Here confused. is your money. Do you hmm. wish to paint another? The way, way back. Oh, I saw that ages ago. Let's paint one Definitely. more. Be my guest. Um, I don't think it made a huge impression on me. The way, way back. Okay, well, there's a couple ones. Because there's the one with the kid... And like a stepdad or something. And then there's another one with George Clooney. I feel like they both have similar names. But I don't remember exactly what. Oh, I forgot a color there. The Descendants. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. You're right. They must have come out at the same time because they are like really linked in my brain. And maybe they shouldn't be. Okay. Boop. Boop. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. So I'm Here painting in exchange money. for cold hard cash. Not right, Not now. right now. I don't maybe really know how later. much he's giving me every later, time. Yes. Now you buy something. I just know I spent a lot. 50 euros is what I currently have. What's in here? If you are cooking and you run out of an ingredient, that book tells you what you can use in its place. Four euros. So if you must no, cook, two euros. you must have that book. Fortunately, must have that book. I'll give you two euros. Vendu. Vendu. What is tickles the fancy? What is this book? What's this book about? That is a very good book about codes which are commonly used. Mm. It is Four a euros. 15 euro. I can give you four euros for it. Vendu. Vendu. What is tickles the fancy? I, I feel like, what is this? What is this thing? I have been told that it is probably a decoder used by those like who resisted the German very... occupation of World War II. Important. Really? How much do you want for it? Nothing. It is not for sale. It is a piece of history. I have it only as an eye catcher. I guess but I'm going to need it if that's the man. case. You must be willing to part with it for something. Uh, Fear and loathing in Vegas. One piece of history for oh, Boogie another. Nights. The you first time I saw Boogie Nights was like on my way to bed. Somebody else put it on, and, and then like halfway, the we like stopped Deal. watching it What's at like what's the halfway point when like it's like things are good, things are good, things are good, things are good, and then we ended it. And then it was like a couple days later. I'm not paying attention to this at all. I was like, I'll finish it, and then it was like sad, 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 sad. 
is what you must do. What does so, he want? Get me a bottle of Mouton Fouette, 1968. Mouton Fouette. I will accept nothing less. In okay, the meantime, we need uh, some wine for him. What else tickles the fancy? What else tickles the fancy? Not just then a wetsuit. It used to belong to a friend, a famous undersea explorer, 31 Jacques Cousteau. Euros. A friend who is said Jacques to have Cousteau. shared many adventures with him. That's... For isn't that, that the reason, name of the for chef in Ratatouille? 25 euro. 31 euros, that's all I'll pay. Vendu. Yes! What is I'm an fancy. amazing negotiator, I gotta say. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. I've never seen Goodfellas. But a lot of movies are just another movie, but not that movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have many new I feel like these gloves are yes, going to be used. I'm truly just buying shit that I'm like, maybe we'll use this later. I could use a French English dictionary. How much? This is the best French English dictionary you can buy in all of One Paris. euro. Too big, simple to use, hundreds and one. hundreds of Gusto. words. Gusto. I practically Pretty close, give though. it to you for 30 euro. I'll take it off your hands for one euro. For this, that is nothing. The not interested. Can't afford it. And I'm not interested. <laughs> what else appeals to you? Oh, Jacques are these Cousteau's gloves very expensive? Sport. Not expensive at all. 18 euro. Would nine. nine euros do the trick? It is yours. Yeah. What else appeals to you? Should I get the flashlight? I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. So hmm. it is only 10 euro. Ten all well. Five, Five. Euros seems fair. It is yours. Yes. Sorry, I can't pay you oh, that shit. much after all. What else appeals to you? Let's try again. How much? How many euros do I have? Four. How okay. much do you want for this? Ten euro. What, what about, about three? three euros? It is yours. Great. What else appeals to you? Nothing. To be honest, I don't have enough money to buy anything. Ah, when you have money, you must come back. I will. Au revoir. Mm. I'm sunshine and sunrise. I don't think I've seen that movie since it was in theaters. But I remember people loved it at the time. Let's see, is all that junk in my pockets now? Yes. <laughs> I genuinely don't know if any of this will be useful. Do I have two things of mint? Maybe I didn't have to buy it from that lady. Hmm. Okay, codes. Okay. How to see, we need this decoder. We need to get the wine. Hmm, brown sugar. Okay, brown sugar. Have a cup of white sugar plus one tablespoon of molasses. Okay, let's go back. Start making some cookies. Pond of. Oh, shit. I went to the wrong place. Okay. What a lovely Parisian apartment this is. First thing I should do is get out that mint and chop it up. Chop it up. I'll just chop up this mint. Chop, 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 chop. There, I'm ready to start cooking. Okay. Three cubes of butter. Let's start with that. Well, hold on. Mix all ingredients. Okay, so three cubes of butter. Oh, one, two, one more. Three. Yeah, yeah. Um, one cup of white sugar. Boom. Um, half cup dark brown sugar. So. According to this, I think we need to do a half cup of white sugar plus one tablespoon of molasses. Half cup white sugar. One, I guess, teaspoon? Tablespoon? Molasses. Well, done. Um, okay, three eggs. Three cubes is not a measurement. You are not wrong. <laughs> but it's a measurement for Nancy Drew. Okay, one teaspoon vanilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I probably was supposed to have that dictionary to be able to tell this stuff apart, but one, I know most of these words, and two, it's not that hard to figure out. Um, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, one. 
two. Quarter. Two quarter cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Hmm. Quarter teaspoon salt. Nice. I like a salty cookie. Um, one fresh spring mint, finely chopped. I definitely didn't need to buy it off of that lady. I could have just had the restaurant one. <laughs> That's fine. One cup semi-sweet chocolate chips. Boop, boop, boop. I think we're done. They look okay to me. Hello? Well, are they done? They, they sure are. are. Describe them. Describe them? Describe them. They're... I've made them before, so I'll know you're lying if you fail to mention the one thing that makes them different from other... Real people. thick. Well, they're real, real thick. Wrong. Unless you want Minette to throw a major hissy fit the next time she sees you. I okay, I guess I goofed it up. Huh. Well, let's try that again. Okay. What did I do wrong? Uh, half a cup, half a cup white sugar plus one teaspoon of molasses. Oh, was it baking powder, not baking soda? Well, we don't have cream of tartar, so. No, it's baking soda. What did I do wrong? Hmm. Cookies did look good. Okay, three cubes of butter. This, we got right. One, two, three. One cup white sugar. Half of dark brown. So I need sugar. Do I have to like mix it together? Oh. Hmm. Does dark brown sugar have extra molasses? I'll do some more. Give it a go. Cause this book doesn't really... Oh, I can turn the page. Mmm. Doesn't have dark brown sugar. Oops. Uh... Maybe it's the... no? Whatever, I added <laughs> extra. Um, three eggs. Two. No, the dark brown sugar seems like the thing I'm supposed to correct, but... <sighs> Vanilla. Two and a quarter cups of flour. One. Two. I never remember the rules about packing flour, if you're supposed to pack it or not. Okay. One and a half, no, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Boom, boom, boom. Um, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yes. One fresh mint spring finely chopped. Glad I don't have to get the mint again. One cup semi-sweet chocolate chips. Try hard's pack floor. I know, I'm too lazy to do it proper. They look exactly the same. <clears throat> Oh no. Hello? Well, are they done? They sure are. They Describe look exactly them. the same. Well, they're very round. Wrong again. Do mint cookies not turn round? Hmm. What can I do here? What have I missed?
Need more sugar for semi-sweet. Yeah, I don't know what... But it's because, like, the book doesn't... They have unsweetened chocolate you can do, but they don't have semi-sweet. There is a substitute, but it's for unsweetened chocolate. We have... I think it's sweetened chocolate. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I'll go back to town and get that translation book. Maybe the chocolate isn't default semi-sweet, but this doesn't have any instruction on how to make it semi-sweet, if that's what we have to do. So... We can make some mayonnaise. Um... I think I'll throw this batch out. What the hell? And go buy the translation book? I don't understand. <laughs> I do love mayo, though. Don't get me wrong. Mayo? Mayo and french fries? Mwah. Perfect. Wait. Okay, I think she was the one that had the translation Bonjour. book. What intrigues Painting. Me this time. Do you still need someone to paint pictures for you? Be my guest. Okay, so we have one euro. Let's see how much money we get from this one. Oh, this does take quite a bit of time. That's not the right color. It's not the right color for down there, but I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later. I'm just gonna go down the row. I did miss a color. I'll go back to it. It's okay. Okay, light orange. Dark orange. Okay, brown. Everyone's favorite color. Brown, brown, brown. Um... Purple, dark purple. Oopsies. Okay, what's a movie I should watch tonight that has similar vibes to Call Me By Your Name? Summery, light, not like a goofy 80s comedy. Mm. That's kind of where I'm at. I want something feels good. Moonrise Kingdom, I have seen it. Oh, geez, this is not the right color. I have seen Moonrise Kingdom, and it's not my favorite Wes Anderson film. I find it too twee. There's also a part where the kids are, like, dancing naked, and I was uncomfortable watching it. They're not fully naked, but they're... It's just, like, I don't know. We don't need to see... It's just... It, it was not cute. I, like, don't like watching little kids, like, kiss on TV. I think it's weird. Um, and I think it's... It also just feels like not of a relatable experience to me um i don't know that's just me missed some colors okay i've seen grand budapest hotel also not my favorite wes anderson but i didn't hate it i find that one so manicured in a way that i is just like I don't know. I missed something. That's a shame. Um, it's just so manicured that I find it hard to have any kind of emotional response to any of the characters. Where did I... Oh, I see. Something else is amiss? Hmm. Oh, I see. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint There's another? a solution to the cookies that I might not like. I don't want spoilers yet. Do I need to buy the translation book? That's my question. What is my favorite Wes Anderson? 
I mean, I love Rushmore, probably Rushmore. There's like some stuff in it that like, I don't know. I don't always love the kind of like, this is a child sort of not taking no for an answer from like an adult woman who was like, I'm not going to date you. You're a child. But I still really like that movie overall. And it doesn't feel as manicured as some of his other ones. I also like Rush or Royal Tenenbaums, but I think Rushmore is probably my favorite. He is kind of insufferable, but I still, I think that, I don't know. I don't see him as a sympathetic character. I just see him. I just think it's a fun watch. No translation book necessary. Okay. Do I need to like, not, not right, right now. now. Do Maybe I need later. to, let's see how much money I made off of that. Now you buy something. Do I need to like get anything else? I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Or should I just go back revoir, to the room? Au revoir. Like, my thing is, do I need to just go back to the house and figure it out? Or is there something I have to get, like, out here? That's what I would like to know about. Hmm. I get what you mean by looking at Wes Anderson movies more than you like watching them. Like, I like Wes Anderson movies. I've seen a lot of them. Recipe calls for a doll head. <laughs> more mint. What the fuck? Am I out of mint? Well, the mint was still here. I got mint in two different places. Like, the mint's still on the table. I didn't see Darjeeling Limited. I also haven't seen that one, The Life Aquatic, which I know a lot of you will like. So, okay, I want a small hint on what I need for this mint, because I feel I got two things of mint. Yeah, we got plenty of mint here. I... <laughs> I got the mint. Am I doing something wrong with the recipe? Yes, thin mint hint indeed. Just gonna keep eating my snap peas. Gotta be fresh. It is fresh. I got the fresh and I got the restaurant one. What am I missing? Still need to. That's fin. Oops, haven't done that. The recipe is okay, but you're not giving the answer she wants. Okay, slight spoiler. This I do kind of remember because I remember being a pain in the ass the first time I did it like ages and ages ago. And I know the thing, the cookies aren't turning out right. The cookies aren't turning out right. They're supposed to curl on the edges. I don't know why I remember this. I think because at the time as a child, I was like, do mint cookies actually do that? And I think they do. But I'm not getting that option. The cookies are not turning out right. I am going to look up mint cookies and see if they will curve up like that. Images. Actually, they fucking don't. They're like goopy and soft as hell. Huh. Curved edges. I'm just Googling this. Anyway, this is, I don't know why I remember this, but I do. Um. Try the recipe and get into the lumpy answer. Okay. I don't think it's the right answer. I don't. I think the cookies are turning out wrong. One, two, three. I want to know: Am I doing the recipe correctly? If y'all know the answer, am I doing the recipe correctly? One cup white sugar. Oh, hydration check. Thank you so much. Let me make sure I get this molasses before I forget. I want to know if I'm doing the recipe correctly. To the person who looked it up, do you know? Oh, FWPX. Thank you for rating. Cheers. One and a half cups of white sugar. That's what I did. Because I did one cup of white sugar and then another half, and then I added the teaspoon of molasses. 
Anyway, oh god, I dropped my thing. Hello, my name is Abby Russell. We're playing through a Nancy Drew game, and we are stuck on a cookie puzzle. Three eggs. I don't think the game would make me do wet and dry and green separately. It just says mix all together. This game is not going to make me do that. Two. Hello. I know for sure. It, it asked for half a cup of brown sugar. I'm doing half a cup plus one teaspoon. Yeah, just half a cup. One cup of white sugar. I did it. Okay, so I just did the eggs. And the flour. I don't think I did the quarter cup. Well, now this is fucked because I didn't pay attention. Um, quarter teaspoon baking. No, half teaspoon baking. Quarter teaspoon salt. <sighs> and then fresh mint. One cup of chocolate chips. Did I not do the vanilla? I guess I didn't. Thank you, vanilla. Not ready for that yet. Shit, what did I miss? I think one more cup of flour, maybe? I don't have anything worth baking yet. Shit, I fucked I it up. I think I'll throw this batch out. Okay, no distractions, everyone. Three cubes of butter. One. Two. So I substitute some milk for the vanilla? Oh, don't even. <laughs> um, one cup of white sugar. Half a cup of white sugar. Okay, molasses. Um, three eggs. teaspoon of vanilla um two and a quarter cups of flour mm -hmm. half baking soda quarter salt are these like tablespoons instead of teaspoons or something like Okay, mint. Semi sweet chocolate chips. <gasps> I didn't do anything mm. differently. Must be the mint that makes their edges turn up like that. I'll just cool the cookies off on this rack and I'll be all What did done. I do differently? What did I do differently? I have to know. What did I do differently though? It was exactly the same. Hello? Well, are they done? What did I do differently? They are. They sure are. Describe to the person who said they well, looked it up, what was I doing edges wrong? Curl upwards? Bingo! I nice did, going. Don't because think I forgot you, to put the mint in. Become a very happy camper. I like have definitely put the mint in every time. <laughs> The mint wasn't different. Well, we did it. What the heck? I want to know what was different. I gotta watch the VOD. I'm pretty sure I put the mint in. You'd need the 50 euro mint. I got the 50 euro mint. My search said there was a bug. If you didn't look at the recipe before adding ingredients, it wouldn't work. That sucks. I did look at the recipe, though. Maybe not before every single ingredient. But, well, I guess we'll go back to the office. Do you remember some ingredients without checking the card? It won't accept the ingredients? That is so stupid. But that's, I don't know, accepting... Can you still bake it? Done with work. Nice. Nice. Enjoy dinner. Oh. This is always the most stressful part of this game. Minette's okay. House of Design. I need to speak to Minette. May I tell her who's calling? No, just get her on the phone. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take a message. Get her Sherman on accent. The phone now. Who 
Who is this? Are you going to connect me with Minet or not? I'm gonna say no. Maybe I'll get in trouble, but I'm saying no. No. Wrong answer. All right. Vaguely threatening. Oh, time to snoop. Fashion oh. portfolio. Interesting. I love the inspiration. Okay. Whoa! Can you imagine exercising in like a knit onesie? Can I not snoop anywhere else? What a ripoff. Dang it, I just gotta have to look at her stupid art. Uh oh. Um, was there anything? Oh, there's a note here. Nancy, please go to Square du Vert. Parrot? Galant. Stuffed parrot. Okay. I do it myself, but Bonnet just gave me a ton of errands. Alright. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go to town and get a parrot. I'm guessing I'll have to paint because I really blew all my money. I used to live in, I went to high school in Cambridge, Massachusetts, which is outside of Boston. I spent like a year or two after high school there. Kind of lived all over, I don't really know. I, New York was the longest place I'd ever lived in. Um, yeah. But, in Virginia, DC area, Boston, summer in San Francisco, a couple summers in Ohio. Where else? A little bit in Florida when I was really little. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Um, Welcome back. What do you like? I don't know. My parents lived in Alaska yes, for just like not in a buying mood. eight years or something. So I'd go and visit. Not for more than like 10 days, back. but I will. You know, I'm somewhat familiar with Alaska. More so than I think most people. Can I not go straight? Whoa! Like Dieter. I wonder what he's doing. Hey, Dieter! Is she gonna run? Wow, look at this animation. No way! Dieter! Dieter! What did he run, he run into a for? chicken coop? That was weird. Looks like he left something on the bench. These must have fallen out of his pocket. So Nancy's working? Or not? Oh, sad. That's the woman who that historian was calling about. Why would Dieter be carrying this around? I don't remember a historian. Anyway, we, um, were on this little journey with the assistant because... We're undercover, trying to figure out what's going on. There's a lot of weird stuff happening with the assistant. The investor wants us to investigate. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well... Sometimes. Bye. Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. Bonjour. What intrigue Where's, oh, there it is. this time? Well, let's see. Dead bird. Is this parrot very expensive? The price is very reasonable. 20 euro. Would you take half that? 10. 10 euros? Vendu. Vendu. What else tickles the fancy? Vendu. Bye. I don't want to buy anything right now. Bye-bye. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Okay. So, so we got that. What is this clock thing? Can't really shove it anywhere. All right. But maybe. Stuffed parrot. Done. <laughs> now what? Uh-oh. You have to get them out of there. Who? What happened? Snakes. This little box came from me, and when I opened it, all these bugs came pouring out. They're all over the place in there. You have to get them out before they lay eggs or something. What's kind of wild is, like, this lady's been getting hate mail left and right. Why is she opening her own packages? You know what I mean? Maybe you should just call an exterminator. Maybe you should just call an exterminator. <laughs> Love that response, no. Nancy. 
Nothing good ever comes from killing things. <laughs> Just go in there and put them back in the box they came in. Carefully, don't kill any of them. And if I were to refuse... And if I were to <laughs> refuse... You'd be fired. Right. All right, let's go yeah. scoop up some bugs. That must be the box they came in. I love that she's like, ooh, stranger sent me chocolate. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Flate time's over, little guy. Ew, it's like a roach. What did she say? Or girl. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Too slow. Thank you for the five subs, Ultra Wham. Okay, we told this lady when she called that you were too busy to respond, but she's very persistent. Dear Miss Minette, there's the books on the women of the French Resistance. Uh, exploits of Noisette Trenade. Noisette Trenade. Because she owned the windmill which you now own. This is from that historian who called me for it. Oh, Tam raided! Hello, I totally missed it. I gotta get like a raid alert going, because I always miss them. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone having fun we are playing a nancy drew game we are playing danger by design um anyway there's we're, we're hanging out with a french lady anyway we got a phone number out of that so i should probably call them is this new this fabric is so strange it's soft and metallic all at the same time i don't know it seems not that unusual <laughs> what do i know insect where would i hide Gotcha. Right now we're catching bugs. This game has been a lot of errands so far, but to be honest, that's a lot of Nancy Drew games. Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme. Too gimme, slow. gimme, gimme. Jesus. How am I supposed to just catch these things? Gotcha. <sighs> yeah, anyway, fonts. we're a detective. Somehow I don't see Manette getting real excited about fonts. Oh, never mind. I thought this was like a um, code break, but. Okay, possible fonts for the spring show. Whatever. Another bug. Ugh. Where are they? Where else could they be? I'm Hopefully for good. Uh, yeah, this bug section ain't the best. Nancy's done. Bugs? No. Bugs. Uh, cause we still need to catch, like what, five? Ugh. Ugh. Bugs. Bugs. <gasps> Got it. New recipe substitute. Yes. It's also like, how do you mail bugs and have them just chill in a chocolate box? Like, I feel like they would either be dead, or they would escape, right? I was like, is a bug gonna crawl out of here? No. This guy, come on. Guy, what the heck? I've been clicking. Okay, gotta go around the horn. I'm gonna try going this way, maybe? Okay, got it. Well, so is there like a bunch of like red paint or blood? I wonder how all that red paint got there. What are these? I guess it's part of the old mill, maybe? Okay. Doing the old loop around. Okay, I guess we'll turn around. <laughs> Come on. Say goodnight, yes. Crazy. We some, I think one more? No, two more. Oh my god. It never ends. I swear it. Anyway, I'm sorry to the raiders who came in on maybe the dullest portion of the game. <laughs> Where are these stupid little bugs? Anyway, what's your favorite kind of tea? We talked about this earlier, but I believe today is International Tea Day, and although Missed I find it. these kinds of Here, days buggy, buggy, buggy. to be mostly fake and silly... And just sort of like a weird thing that sprung out of like the internet. I do like tea. So I always love talking tea. 
Ugh, got him. Green there, tea. I don't drink a lot of green tea. Last bug. Tea in the Netherlands tastes like butterscotch. Hmm. Peppermint tea. Oh. Hmm. Orange pe picoe? Pic picoe? Pico? Never had that. I don't, I'm not big on fruity teas. I like teas that I are like open the door now, malty you get or caramely or like good with milk. Yes, Manette. How many are there? Pico. I don't know. Nine. Pico. Are they all alive? Pico? Yes, Manette. Are you sure you didn't kill any? Positive. Mm. And they're all in the box? Yes. Okay, listen. I want you to take that box to the park and let those things go. Only I don't want to be here when you come out. Probably the only thing that we're talking about orange pico. Women are thinking about right now is revenge. Manette, they're cockroaches. Exactly. It's a Utah tea so I want you to count to ten, and then, and only then, are you to come out of there. All right? Anything you say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> what a nut job. Nancy has no patience for this woman, and I am. I appreciate it. Okay, this is... Maybe I'll try my hand at designing something <gasps> else. We can design our own thing. This is fun. Okay. Let's make a wonderful outfit. What would Nancy wear? Of course. Say no more. Honestly, you look amazing. Where's the gun? Done. Alright. Um, what am I supposed to do with these bugs? They're like... Leave him outside or something? Oh, now that she's gone, I bet I can fuck with this thing. Here we go. Oh. Can I... Oh, it's so hard to click it. Oh, it's one of these. I think this won't work. I'm trying to get it like down into that little nook down there. Keys? No. I wish they did, because this is honestly annoying to use. Okay. I think I can do it via this. Okay, here we go. I think I should be able to make it here. It's basically like mirrors your moves, kind of. It's hard to describe. Okay, first section done. Okay. Um. I feel like I should have gone down first. Well, yeah. This one's gonna escape. Oh no, it didn't. What? Can I still make it into the den? All right, whatever. Anyway, it's one of these puzzles. These are puzzles that you're trying to avoid first the bird, then the wolves, now the hunter. Or a puffin, I think, yes? I feel like Nancy loves this kind of puzzle. These games, I mean. Um, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's try this again. Mm, let's go the long way around. Let's see if this works. Okay, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I can lay my egg now. Hello, Luciferin. Luciferin. Anyway, give me the egg. Give me the egg. Okay, Minette. It's not over. Nothing ends until I say it does. Next time I will do much more than throw paint. Okay, Minette. Wait a minute. These letters are the same ones that I saw in that memo Heather sent to Manette. Which means the person who sent this must have been Heather. You are as mean as you are thoughtless. That's kind of a big leap, Nancy, but that's fine. Um, and it has to stop. Your punishment will come when you least expect it. It's also a different color than the rest. It's not over. Nothing ends. Oh, wait. Did I already see that one? They all say the same thing. Makes most of what little time you have. Soon it'll be over. What about this guy? Your show will be a disaster. You will never be able to show your face in Paris again. You alone are to blame. Okay. Well, we gotta talk to Heather. Okay. Gotta release these bugs. It's I think. late. I can do this tomorrow. All right. Guess we're sleeping with the bugs. On that note, I might take a quick little break. I got a stretch, etc. It's also very hot in here. Um, so I'll be back in, say, two minutes. Hope to see you on the other side. Goodbye. Be right back. I'm back. Let me click the game. Hope everyone got their stretches in. Let's talk to uh, Gigi. She's not here. No, I guess she's not. Let's see what the what this has to say. Okay, catacomb patrol. <gasps> Is this game gonna end in the catacombs? That would be so cool. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Okay. 
Let's see if we can call. Hmm, no. I was going to try to call the... There, I thought there's a number of the obituary or a number for something. I was going to maybe try to call, but what was on my list? We're very close to finish. Someone like pickpocket us? Who's, this, who's scraping their feet? I want to go talk to what's his face. We saw him in the park and it seemed real suspicious. <sighs> See what's going like on. Someone's in the dark room. Ooh, that means I can snoop. My eyeballs. My eyeballs. Should I open the door and ruin all their art? Should I kill their fish? Ooh, there's like something in my eye. Oh god. Oof. Let's see. Mr. Von Schwesterkronk? Are you in there? Who's there? Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. I just wondered what you were doing in Square du Ver Galant Park. I, uh... I was just taking a walk. You dropped an obituary about Noisette Tournade. Shall I leave it for you? There's no need. I don't want it. What about Why this clock? Why were you carrying it around? Because I, uh, I was going to send it to my grandmother. I thought she knew the woman. Hmm, you seems also like a lie. dropped some kind of trinket. Looks like a miniature clock. That's something my great uncle Hans gave me. It's actually a key. It opens the panel over It's there, my favorite the Nancy Drew there. game. I'm gonna say the train one the or the the old west one, What's probably. What's behind the panel? Go ahead and see for yourself. But also to go a the like haunted mansion one has a soft place in my heart. This was the first one I ever did. Let's open the door. Sorry, too busy. Oh man. Sorry, too busy. Dang, I wanted to open the door and run all those pictures. So what did he say I need to do? He's talking over it. Unknown person. Okay. Little clock. Open the panel by the bookshelf. Huh. That's can't check that off yet. Can't okay, check I'd that see, off. Okay, I see. I knew I have to check call that her. Off yet. Uh, confront Heather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's finished. Check. Can't check that off yet. That's finished. Been there, done that. Check. Mm -hmm. Can't check that. I'll have to off give yet. it to Heather. Oh, okay. Who's that? Oh. What's up with this? Should I try to make them all midnight or something? That's what I'm gonna try to do. Maybe I should make them all three, because that one in the middle can't move. Oh, I guess I did it? No, I did it wrong. Okay, so this is stuck at three. It's interesting, this one moves some, but a lot of the other ones don't. Like being moved like that, Mr. Von Schwesterkronk. Believe it or not, that key your uncle gave you opened up some kind of passageway. Is it okay if I see where it goes? A passageway? You never said anything about a passageway. Go ahead and explore. I saw you hot. Why so didn't you tell me about the passageway? I'm gonna go eat some Wiener Schnitzel because I'm German. Ooh, it's a big spider. Mm, wonder if his name is Boris. What? Is that a joke that I missed? Horse? Huh? Can I like peek through here? No. 
I wonder what that symbol means. It's like a couple of acorns or some strawberries. The year when our despair ended. The year when my despair 1945. began. 1945. Knew it from the statue. Oh! I love that they just took a picture of it. Thank you for your bravery. Resistance. Okay. Wait. Paris, quite intrigued. Metro system. How to use the numbered lines and names of metro stops for a code. Okay. Hmm. Have to figure out code breaking, I guess. Sorry, it's too busy. All right, because you don't want to want to know about that place. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go here. Talk to what's her face. Forest the Spider is a song by The Who. Interesting. Gotcha. I love that this game designed for like eight, nine year olds assumes the stuff, they'll understand. You go. What's it for anyway? It's a Minette thing. You wouldn't understand. No one would. Why did you write Minette that threatening letter? What? You what? think I wrote those what? letters? I think you wrote at least one of them. I think you wrote at least one of them. Can you prove it? Mm-hmm. The letters on it match the memo you sent Minette about fonts. Okay. A couple months ago, I got so fed up with her that I... I just <sighs> had to get back at her somehow. I'd seen how upset those other letters made her, so Hello. I sent one of my own, but Validize. just that one. And I never intended to really do anything to her. I just wanted her to suffer. You know, emotionally. Do you have any idea who sent her those other letters? None, I swear. No, emotionally. Look, you're not going to tell Minette about this, are you? There's really no need. It'll just upset her all over again. And she's so far behind as it is. And there's no telling how she'd take it out on me. Or on you, for that matter, just for telling her. So don't say anything to her, okay? I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll see you later. Okay. Should I tell on her? Get her fired? Take her position? Um, I don't know. Should I check my emails, I guess? I do need to call What's-Her-Face. Can I do it while she's here? Okay, Zoo? I don't know who Zoo is. Hello? I know you are calling for minutes. Please, tell me. Is this Jing Jing? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. But I know Jing Jing. In fact, I'm staying at her place. You are the most lucky person in the monde. I am a big fan of Jing Jing. I call her house and leave massage. I call minutes because I know she works there, but that she is... will not talk hmm. to me. She is too... Mm, what is the word? Paranormal? Uh, you mean paranoid? Yes, yes, paranoid. So, if you are hmm. not Xing Xing, why do you call me? This is Zhu, right? Yes, yes, I am Zhu. Well, Zhu, my name is Nancy Drew, and I saw a symbol on the wall when I was in an underground passage not too long ago. It looked like two leaves Why am I calling this person? I don't know how I got their and number. I just wondered if you could tell me what it meant or why it was there. Yes, yes, of course I can. But first, you must have oh, Xing write God. something for me. Write something for you? You must have her write something that I can keep. Have her write. Zhu, my love, Jing. Then, take the metro to the Danfer oh, Road I know station, how we can do that. Find the bones from the Magdalen Cemetery and put the autograph in the skull below the plaque. Have her write, Zhu, my love, Jing. Go to the catacombs, find the Magdalen Cemetery bones, and leave the autograph in a skull. Yes, yes, exactly that. Don't Zoo, worry about my love, the person Jing. whose bones they may be. The skull, it is a fake. My friend and I put it there, and so... After you deliver it, you I like call me like, don't worry, everybody, it's not real. It's fake. But what if Jing Jing refuses? Then, Nancy Drew, 
It seems we will both be very disappointed. Okay, let's do this calling card. Because I think the other number was an American number, which is maybe not why it's not showing up here. Ooh, Jordan, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate it. Always good to see ya. This is my calling card. Should be able to. What? Oh yeah, okay. So let's do Lynn. One. Okay. Modern European history, Lynn Manrique. Hello, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Paris. Actually, I talked to you earlier when you tried to call Manette. She's finally calling me back? Wonderful. Please put her on. Uh, exactly. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she's still too busy to talk to you. Oh. But if you don't mind, could I ask you a couple of questions about Noisette Tournade? Certainly. Okay. Um. Along. How yeah. long did she live in the Moulin, where Manette now has her studio? Moulin. She lived there for 55 years, from 1949 to 2004. She sold it when she moved to Provence, which is where she passed away. She never married, you know. Very private person. She served as Paris's director of public works mm. for more than 20 years. Yet not one person has been able to tell me what her favorite color was. <laughs> Who cares? I don't know. Most what of my friends' favorite colors. During the war? From 1942 until the liberation of Paris, Noisette worked as a translator for the Germans by day and an encoder <laughs> for the French resistance by very night. Funny, best of this, as you might imagine, made everyone suspicious of her, both French okay. and Germans alike. And after the war, things got ugly. Especially when people found out she was romantically involved with a German soldier. His name was Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. You're kidding me. Was he by any chance related to Dieter von Schwesterkrank, the fashion photographer? I'm afraid I have no idea. Hans left Paris was right after the war and never returned, leaving Noisette <laughs> to what this is implying. herself. She was tried as a collaborator in 1946 and acquitted, but the experience left her quite bitter. You see, some people said that during the war she took various pieces of artwork, mostly from churches, and stashed them away somewhere so they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. Were they recovered after the war? The artwork remains lost to this day. Mm. No one knows exactly what Noisette took. But it's in the catacombs. Or maybe underneath anything. this, uh, in any case, whatever the fuck it's called. Hurt that the city she loved had turned on her so it like sounds that. like people are probably, uh, trial, in this mill the truth of what for all the art, i ...resided in her and in the person and place she loved the most. And that was I that. don't know who I'm most she suspicious of. of I guess Dieter? Again. I assume that the person she was referring to was Hans von Schwesterkrank, who passed away a year or two ago, and that the place was her beloved Moulin, which is why I'm hoping Manette will allow me to visit it. Now, I've got a question for you. In the hours before she died, Noisette was said to have constantly muttered three words, red left green. Is there anything inside the Moulin that has to do with red left green? Anything at all? No, but I'll keep that in mind and Red, let me know if I see left, something. Green. I'd appreciate it. Any other questions? Mm, um, what French was the resistance? French resistance? That was the name given to the various groups of men and women who did their best to undermine Germany's child, and I don't know what World War II is. During World War II. Some would engage in strikes and sabotage, while others would collect and pass intelligence along to the Allies. Needless to say, their operations were highly covert and very dangerous. What else can you tell me about the German occupation of Paris? The German army entered Paris on June 14th, I love 14th, this little 1940. history lesson. And after France formally surrendered on June 22nd, the Germans controlled the city. They took whatever they wanted. Food, supplies, houses, artwork, and dictated how Parisians were to live their lives. Naturally, their presence was deeply resented. Some people ignored the situation as best they could. Some collaborated with the Germans, while others, like those in the resistance, fought back until the city was finally liberated on August 25th, 1944. It four years, which is kind of wild to think about. Um, After the war, okay. when she was the director of public works, what kind of things did Noisette do? Mm -hmm. She oversaw many of the services which the citizens of Paris they enjoyed every day. Were two posts in college. Streets, That's cool. bridges, parks, their maintenance all came under Noisette's purview. 
She particularly enjoyed putting various forms of art on permanent display in various public places, especially parks. Oh, that one park is a bunch of weird the pieces of art. Oh, the vertical bar. Thank you, Jordan. Again, I'm so sorry I talked over Kathy. That was first used I'm trying to stay cool, but it's honestly hot as hell in here. Dukes of I wonder my hair up But during and after World War II, it became a symbol of the French Resistance. Nowadays, it's not unusual to see it on statues or monuments commemorating the period in French history from so I guess that, like, double cross? 1945. What did you mean when you said Moisette was tried as a collaborator? Collaborators were French citizens who not only failed to resist the occupation, but actually helped the Germans keep it going. Because Noisette had worked for the Germans as a translator and had a German boyfriend, after the war, many of her countrymen automatically accused her of collaboration. When it was revealed that she had been a member of the resistance, instead of exonerating her, that just made some people think she'd been spying for the Germans, too. As I said before, it was an ugly time, one which poor Noisette <laughs> spent the rest of her life trying to forget. Do you know anything about the M380 decoder? It's a machine that the resistance is said to have used the to encode what? and decode their messages during the war. To decode How a message, get that the line had for to that be in the dude. same position as they were when the message was encoded. The famous Enigma machine operated in much the same way. The famous what? The Enigma machine is what the Germans used to encipher and decipher their secret messages during World War II. Allied code breakers were finally able to figure out how the machine worked and okay. as a result, appreciate the help. I don't need the how likely. Two years we sooner know. than it would have otherwise. I really appreciate your help. It was nothing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nancy is kind of dumb, but I appreciate that about Nancy. She's a big dummy, and that's okay. Okay, let's check off our list. I love having a little checklist. Can't check that. Can't check that off yet. I need to ask John Michel. I think that's that guy that's finished. at the cafe. Oops. Haven't been there, done that. That grid I found in the tunnel off Theater Studio is good for. Oh. Check. Oops. Decoded Haven't grid. done that. Can't check that off yet. Been there, done. Been there, done. Check. Been there, done that. Okay. So, what we gotta do? Gotta talk to Jean Michel. Gigi. Zoo, my love. Jing. Call Zoo. We did it. Been there, done that. Um. Still need to do that. Okay. Just pop in here, see how Minette's doing. I don't think we need to talk to her, but I'll what? talk to her. Oh. Why do you wear that mask? Just gonna get right this to it. This mask is a statement, Nancy. It's my way of telling society that it pays far too much attention to the face. I design clothes for the person. Hmm. I'm telling society, forget the face. Look at the person. Look at my creation. Nancy. The colors, the fabrics, the lines I choose. They are meant to enhance the person, not the face. The person. The face is inconsequential. I thought maybe you were just trying to save money on makeup. That was a joke. <clears throat> Any more questions? Um, Someone yeah. with a German accent called for you when you were fitting JJ, but he didn't leave a message. Oh? Um, yeah, he kind of sounded kind of angry. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't important, so don't worry about it. What else? Nice. Why did you Good break segue. up with Dieter? That is absolutely, unequivocally, 100% none of your business. It really and is you wild to think Nancy's like, again, so why did you guys break fired. up? Now go so why did you break up? What's work. the story? What's the story? I said go away. Fine. Okay. Talk to Heather real quick while we're here, and then What's I'm just going to leave. What's with oh, all the go. red paint that splattered on the wall in Manette's studio? Uh, okay. I came in one morning last month, and there it was. Manette must have had a bad night. Uh, didn't ask, you didn't her, about ask it? her about it? Manette always throws things when she's upset. Remember what happened when you first arrived? The plant. Oh, yeah, the potted plant. I get your point. <gasps> Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Whenever Goodbye. you have questions, just ask. Um, oh yeah, we gotta go here. Well, let's go to, let's get that autograph. <sighs> I might have to wrap a little early today. I'm feeling so hot, so.
I don't know how much longer I can be in this hot office. Hey, Rumi, how's it going? Um, Let's play hangman. Okay. I know what to do. You know the rules, right? Sure yep, do. I sure do. Great. Okay. I'll think of a six-letter word, and Ready. you try to guess what it is. Ready? Ready. Okay. Um... Z. U. M. You lose. Y. You lose. L. Afraid not. O. They must have had to name That's these characters winner. things that wouldn't have any repeating letters. V. E. That's a winner. J. Nope. I. N. I do Correct. love the idea that we are going to give this person the signature and it will have... May I have that piece of paper? Uh, sure. hang me <laughs> Want to play again? Maybe later. Maybe later. Anytime you want to play, just let me know. Okay. Yes, I'll be running Catch along. Catch you later, Jing Jing. See ya. Forget something. Oopsies. Yes, I'll be running along. Okay. Okay, let's put this by the catacombs. What else do we need to do? Just double check. Check. Okay, we also have to go to the cafe. Maybe we'll do that first. Cafe, catacombs. Actually, this is close. Doesn't actually matter, I don't think. <laughs> but whatever. Un, s'il vous plaît. Bye bye, hard earned cash. Magdalene. This must be the place Zoo was talking about. And there's a skull. Okay. Is that it? That's kind of a bummer. So cool. Um, hotel. To so go on this journey. Just waiting. We've arrived. Mademoiselle Drou, what is it now? The picture okay. of Manette that was in the June issue of Glam Glam, was it cropped, do you remember? Mm, I'm sure it was. Most photographs are these days. Why? Um... Do you think I could see the uncropped picture? As it happens, all the pictures which I use in my articles are stored right here in my digital assistant. I will help you, mademoiselle, but only if you help Ooh, me scary first. scary sentence. <laughs> you see, the oh owner of this cafe, he faces a crease. Please. The person who makes desserts for him has stepped out for his customary Ooh, we get to make desserts. And a half hour break. Please. Unfortunately, a bus full of American teenagers has pulled up and all are clamoring for parfait. So... I will tell the owner that you will make the parfait, and when you do, he will be indebted to me and will allow me to continue using this Should table. Should be indebted to me. And I will be indebted to you and will allow you Fine. to see the picture. You see how it works? It doesn't really seem like a worthy trade, but I get to make parfaits. All right. I get to make parfaits? <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, what a Looks dweeb. Looks like I got chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, caramel ice cream, bananas, tapioca bananas. balls, berries, and whipped cream. Bananas. The first one I have to make is an exwa. Exwa. Okay. We got whipped cream. We got strawberry. Okay. Nope. Okay. We got vanilla. It's not going in here. Okay, the cream. This is such a nasty noise. Ding ding. Merci. Merci. Now they want a l'enfer. L'enfer. Mm, that doesn't seem right. Oh, beans. There. Ding ding! Parfait. I'm getting Parfait. there. Next up, a tropical. Tropical. That looks disgusting. Have the balls first. No, but first. 
buffet. Do chocolate then strawberry. Is this right? Oh la la. I Wheat. think that was French for you blew it. Now they want a long fair. All right, I guess I goofed one up. Merci. He liked Merci. it. Next is a corbeau. Buffet. I did it right. One mystique coming up. Deek. Ugh, that looks so gross. There's no ice cream in here. It's all tapioca balls. This is disgusting. C'est bien. I'm getting there. Here comes a fantasy. See if I can do it by memory. I don't think that's right. Actually, it is. Double check. I love this whipped cream on whipped cream. C'est bien. Another gross yes. one. A Lulu. Lulu. It's just like that bird. Remember that Lulu bird? Oui, c'est ça. I did it right. This, we now have, have only done swap. errands. There's been like no real puzzles. It's all errand puzzles. Okay. Which you know is fine. Merci. I did it Merci. right. See. Now I have to make another it one. Hopefully I'm doing it right. I refuse to look. Merci. I'm getting there. There. All done. <laughs> the owner, he tells me you did a good job. And so, as was our agreement, here is the I wonder if I got them all wrong, what would happen? See. Great. Thank you. This is a terrible photo. Okay. Okay, so it's pointed to nine? Is that nine? Yeah, it's pointed to nine, five, and three. Nine, five, three. Remember that, everyone. So, what I'm else do you wish from me? Do you order think something. I could order Nine, something? five, three. Go right ahead. Nine to but five. I've seen it three no times. Not sure. I've only seen the half of it. Okay, okay by, by me. me. La carte. La carte. Um, let's have this one. I don't I know what this is. Oui, mademoiselle. Oh, he seems unhappy about that one. Ten euro. The price is ten euro. That's one less coin in my purse. Chicken dumplings. You are going mm. to love them. Yes. That's pretty good. Mm. Mm. As we see in the US. Mm -mm. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle. So, okay. what else do you wish for me? See you later. I better get going. Au revoir, mademoiselle. What should we do next? Let's go here. Let's go here. See what we get. Excuse me. <sighs> What's up? Well, I'll see you later. Okay. What's the deal with that bird, lady? Is she gonna put a dead bird in with vignette? Because she doesn't like dead things. What? Mm. Do you have any idea who sent you that box of cockroaches? No. I'm not going to tell just some idiot who has no Heather's understanding secret. of how much I have to do and how long it takes me to do it and thinks the world revolves around him and what he wants and can't understand why people don't jump just because he snaps his finger. Go back to the I mean, catacombs. Probably just some practical is, Yeah, did he say all. he was going to drop I this stuff off of the catacombs? Longer. He Good. must have. Hey, we have to call him back. Oh, let's call him. I bet we just have to call him. Time to call Zoo. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Oh, one, oh, one. Ugh. Hello? 
It's Nancy Drew. Hello? Did you get the autograph? It is magnifique. You were wise not to try to fool me, Nancy. I know Jing's handwriting better She's than I know creep. my own. <laughs> so, here is what I know about that symbol. I call it the hazelnut because to me, that is what it looks like. A noisette. Wait a minute. A noisette? Yes, yes. That is French for hazelnut. I have seen it in only one place in the catacombs. To reach this place, return to the catacombs and go to the skull where you left Jing Jing's autograph. Lift the top part of the skull and push the red button. That will open a secret passage that will lead you to the noisette. All right, we'll check Great. it out. Thank you. But if you go there, you must be careful. The later the games get better about the speed dial. Them. I don't know the why this one doesn't. What do you mean? Some of the tunnels, especially near the Mouton Beverage Company, they are water... water filled with trees. You mean waterlogged? Ah, oh, yes, yes, waterlogged. You must swim underwater to reach the place where I saw the noisette. And the water is very cold. Good news, everyone. We got a wetsuit. Wet we got, got a wetsuit. All right, well, good to know. Maybe we'll find that bottle of wine. Can you imagine? I want to look at these discs, and then we'll go do that, and then we'll probably wrap up for the day. I wonder if the symbols on these discs have something to do with the dials on the M380 decoder that Noisette Tornado oh, used. Oh, okay. So we can't do anything with the discs right now. That's fine. Okay. Let's go to the catacombs. Hopefully it's not too expensive, because I have six euros. Six euro. Six euro, I guess. Oh, Mountain Beverage Company. Are we gonna steal oh, wine? <laughs> How much was it? Oh my god, it was five. Ridiculous. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. He just said, no, I don't agree. With that logic. What? Uh oh, shit. Oops. Well, let's get a second chance going. We'll do one more try, and then maybe we'll save this for next time. These are already approaching. Where can I hide? I am thinking. Insupportable. Attends. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Il y a quelqu'un là? Non, non. Je suis confus. Ouais, comme d'habitude. T'as jamais entendu l'histoire de la bête de Blackmoor? Ah oui. Ça me fait très peur. Ne pas pas de ça. Qui est là? Ah. Okay. Stop. Okay. <laughs> it's time to put on the wetsuit. Hope it's more comfortable. I know. I heard about the police beast of Blackmore. Yeah. Ooh, this place is crawling with. <gasps> oh, oh. I have a breath meter, which is annoying because it's going down in a cutscene that I can't do anything about. Do I go up or down? I don't know. I'm just swimming. I am just choosing to make choices. I don't know the right one or the wrong one. These are simply the choices I'm making. Did I do okay? Okay. Okay. A rough translation would be in Europe near the new bridge snow white lives in a red castle yeah that makes a lot of sense nailed it <laughs> okay well figure that out later oh do i have to swim back Wish me luck. I don't know what I did. I just was clicking stuff. Got lucky, I guess. Is that it? 
Okay, I guess that was just a stop for air. I don't think it's 593. No, 593 is for the decoder. We need a four digit thing. Here we go. <laughs> okay, she is wearing her wetsuit. She put it on automatically. I don't think you would have let her get I can't into the water until without I get this it. Oh, ah, a rat! Okay, calm down, Nancy. I love that she's wearing a horse shirt. Ugh, oh, Nancy, I love you, kid. Okay, well, on that note, let's save. Save, please. Boop. All right, now let's find red, left, green. Hmm. Well, I think we have to do is go back to the um the square and look because all of those arts had different color on the like statues, and it said that what's her face made it, so I think it's related. Wow. Okay. Anyway, Twitch, Twitch. Let's see. Let's raid. Let's raid. Oh, let's raid Nina Marie. Oh, let's raid Nina Marie. Okay. Here we go. Thank you anyway. Thank you to the mods, everyone who subscribed and subbed. I will see you on Monday with 100 Baby Challenge. And Tuesday, we're starting new Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2. Hope to see you there. Anyway, thank goodness it's TGIF. Um, very pleased. Also, we are, I know my thing is not the most accurate, but we are, we have 1,153 subscriber points out of 1,200, so I believe that's 47. I got nervous about my math there, away. Which is pretty exciting. Anyway, I will see you all later. Thank you all so much. Good night.